All right, welcome rugby fans. Welcome to Elm Park in Ottawa, Canada, as we get ready to broadcast the U-20s from the United States against Wales. Both teams are making it to their pitch, and we will have the national anthems next. Rugby Canada, to begin by acknowledging the land which we gather on today, the traditional unceded territory of the Algonquin and people. The Algonquin peoples have lived on this land since time immemorial. We are grateful to have the opportunity to be present in this territory. We would also like to wish Team, a Team USA, any American friends here with us today, and all our neighbors to the south, a very happy Independence Day. Now please stand and remove your hats for both teams' national anthems. Have it, sports fans, the national anthems for both respective sides. Both teams gather near their areas of the pitch, and the kickoff will be next. So, as we get rolling here at Elm Park, Twin Elm Park, let's go ahead and talk about the lineups for today. In red, Wales in their pack, wearing number one, Canna Williams. Number two, Rosie Carr. Number three, Katie Carr. Number four, Ala Piers. Number five, Aaron Jones. Number six, Jess Rogers. Number seven, Lucy Isaac. Number eight, Gwen Ann Hopkins. In their backs, number nine, Molly Reardon. Number 10, Chelsea Williams. Number 11, Nell Metcalf. Number 12, Jenna Devera, the captain. Number 13, Ellie Tromans. Number 14, Saren Singleton. And number 15 in the back, Beth Ann Adkins. In blue, the United States. 
Starting 15, number one, Olivia Woods. Number two, Siameni. Number three, Cambria Hartrick. Number four, Nikki Lynch. Number five, Cindy Talava. Talava. Number six, Lennox London. Number seven, Emma Howie. Number eight, Amelia Clark. In the backs, number nine, Sadie Shire, the captain. Number 10, Alyssa Eisenhart. Number 11, Sariana Vualano. Number 12, Tiana Padilla. Number 13, Caitlin Walker. Number 14, Hattie Greenwood. And in the back, number 15, Ashley Cowdery. Wales sets the kick off. The ball is up, it goes 10, bounces, and it's picked up by number four, Nikki Lynch. The drive is on, the ruck is formed. Pick and go, and the gain line is broken. Red looks to be set. Little contesting in the scrum, or in the ruck. Out the ball goes. To number two, Siameni, who drives over. Quick recycle, the ball comes out. Number three, Hartrick. Takes some tacklers with her. Big drive over, seals the ruck. The ball comes out again. Ball out to Eisenhart. Eisenhart puts the ball up and tests the kick. Good bounce, and it finds touch. So the U.S. runs a few phases into contact. Then the ball finds touch on just the far side of the 50 meter, uh, near the 10 meter, for the line out to Wales. So we'll see the first set piece of the day, and Wales and Red will get a chance to test their line out. Look to be discussing with the referee, possibly a walk-up line out. Number two, Carr will throw in. Referee is satisfied with the throw, the ball comes out. Into the hands of 12, the captain, Jenna Devera. The ruck is formed, the ball comes out. Number eight distributes to number three, Katie Carr. Drives on for a few meters. Ball comes out again. The fly half takes the ball into contact. Looks like hands on for Blue. Looks to be stolen. Blue with the poach. And now Red attempts to re-poach. Two poaches in a row. Quick jackal to re-jackal. And the ball comes back to Wales. Here comes the crash ball in. Good clean out. And the ball appears to be recycled. Good attempt at the tackle. Not able to complete it. There's the tackle by A.J. Howie. So far, the United States has a uh, very aggressive in the ruck, trying to get their hands on the ball. We see a big drive on, and now Wales attempts to return the favor. Here comes Lennox with a good take. That's Lennox London. Ball driven over. Oh, squirts out the side. Unfortunately, not kept. The strip is on. It looks like Padilla. Padilla sets the ball. The clean out is good. And here comes the ball out. This is number four, Nikki Lynch, who drives on. Takes in some red jerseys with her. And it appears the penalty is going to go Wales' way for not releasing. So the, the number four takes the ball in. That's Lynch and attempts to set it back, but couldn't get it quite done. And so now we'll see the first test of the number 10 in red. Number 10 in red is Chelsea Williams, who lines up for the kick to touch. Good solid strike, finds touch, and we go to the other 10-meter line. So just uh, 10 meters south of the, the, the midline there, It'll be Wales throw-in. And so the team in red sets up once again. Throw-in is in. It's handled cleanly out to the nine. The nine brings it out to the width. Here comes the captain. Captain makes a hard charging run, breaks the line, uh, but then is brought down. Ball distribution It's going to swing to the width. First test the width. Looks like we got some speed out there. So what do we see? We got the ball crashing in on the near side here. That's Wales. And the attempt is made to go forward. So Wales trying to get the go forward here with crash ball after crash ball near the base. And here comes the eight. That would be Gwen Ann Hopkins with the drive on. Good line speed by Blue. Nice tackle by the scrum half. Shire, the captain. Here goes Lewis. That appeared to be a high tackle, but the hand is not out. So the Blue recycles. Here comes the ball out to the 14. 14 attempts to make a drive out. It looks like they're going to try to put her into touch. It is not done, and the ball gets recycled. Here comes London again. London to Padilla, it appears. Big, big heavy ruck there to clean it out. Well done. The nine brings the ball out. Oh, a little lost in the handle there. And it appears that Gwen Ann Hopkins is around the ball again. So number eight for red, around the ball quite a bit. 
A little bit of jittery hands there in the blue, but it looks like they have some things going. Both teams really battling in the charge. Here comes the step uh, into the width. There's 11 with some space, and it looks like she's going to put one down in the corner. That was Nell Metcalf. So Wales on the board first with a five-point drop there, and we'll see what kind of range the kicker has. So two times, Wales appears to have tested the width and gotten some success out of it. Uh, looks like we've got a couple of players who are kind of working their way back to the midfield. The kicker today appears to be not quite able to make out the number yet. Looks like the 11. So that would be Metcalf who scored the try. So Nell Metcalf lines up for the kick. Not an easy kick. Um, on the wide side of the five meter line. And it gives us a chance to talk a little bit about what we saw in both teams. So both teams able to get some, some work done. Looks to be a left footed striker here in Metcalf. But this time Wales found the width. Here comes the approach. Solid kick, but looks to be going just a bit wide. So she had the distance or close to it, but it was a bit wide left. That is a very challenging kick, so good on her to get a nice strike on the ball. And so now Blue will reset to kick off. It appears that Eisenhart has the ball in hand, and so she will set the kickoff. Let's see if we can get some, some attacking lines, see if Blue will challenge the ball. Water is headed off the field and the referee resets. It looks like we've got a couple of balls on the field here and we're gonna get rid of one. And so now Blue goes back to work. And here's the strike. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be tough. It goes 10 and Blue is able to turn it on. And we could have a not rolling penalty here. It looks like it's coming. Yeah, there it is. So red jerseys caught over the wrong side of the ball. The kick worked out well. Not, not a real strong strike, but uh, was able to work it out. So we'll see what the, uh, what the penalty kick to touch can, can play here. Eisenhardt about to line it up. There's the kick. Okay, and finds touch. Okay, so ball finds touch and we're just outside of the 22 meter. So we'll see what kind of line out options Blue has. Okay. So we've got the, the hooker, Rosie Carr, gonna throw in for Blue in, uh, in a dangerous spot. We'll see what kind of forward movement we can get. Here comes the jump. It looks like London up for the jump. The throw goes red, but then Blue charges through a really heads up play there by, I think, Howie. Uh, here comes Padilla with ball in hand. Uh, and the tackle is made, Ruck is formed. We got a, a ro uh, again, a red jersey on appears on the wrong side of the ball. Uh, that's twice now, we'll see if the referee starts to, to warn. Here comes a big put, uh, looks like it could be knocked forward. So got through the hands, um, found its way toward the width with some attacking space it looked like, but unfortunately the ball was uh, not able to be held. So it will go a scrum to red and uh, they'll see the first uh, scrum platform of the day. And so here we see the formation of the scrum starting. And it looks like uh, Reardon will be, uh, will be getting ready to put the ball in. And so first attempt of the day, usually a warning from the referee, let's make sure everybody's straight in the push and not early, make sure everybody is on track. Here comes the ball, the call is made, the feed is in, good hard push by Blue, but the ball comes out red. And here comes the crash ball in, a little choppy in the hands, looked like possibly traveled forward, but she recovered her own ball. Well done by her. Again, Blue very aggressive attempt hand uh, to get the ball in the jackal. Out comes into the width, again, looks to be possibly attacking this width against Blue. This time the tackle was made, but the regather, well done by the player, and we got some open side play here. There's the tackle, and now we move around. So, ball comes out Red's way. Some nice ball movement by them. Good hard hit by the nine, Shire, well done. Captain comes in handy there, and the nine swings it out toward the strength. A little cutback by seven, who is Lucy Isaac. 
Ball comes out again. Welsh doing a nice job of recycling. Got the arm is out. Not really sure what the call is, but it looks like they'll be playing some penalty advantage here. And here comes the penalty back. So uh, offsides is the call. The referee says the blue, uh, the U.S. jumped a little early, and so now uh, she's going to explain where the the mark is. So the offsides call. The mark was further toward the side of the field. Up. Oh went with the first penalty. So they must have been playing two penalties there. The first was a high tackle, which uh, the, the team from Wales has decided to collect on. And so here comes the lineup. And here it is. It's a big kick. Made some ground there and gets the ball inside the 22. So now they've traded positions, some danger on both sides of the ball here. And we'll see what, uh, what the Welsh line out can do. So the lineup again, and Williams comes over to share the call with Carr, who is ready to put the ball in. And that one appears to, whoa, have come down to red. That was a very, very well played by the jumper. It was a low throw, but she made something out of it. Here comes the push. The drive is on. They got the go forward, but it appears to be stolen yet again. And then four. Purs brings the ball over. So a lot of uh, choppy work in the ruck right now. It's not being held and not being clean on both sides. We've got some, some real work being done on the Jackal. Here comes the clearance kick. It looks like a decent ball up. And, and will she be able to put her out? Oh, a little bit of a desperation there. So the kick was made, did not find touch, and now the ball is back to red. So the clearance was made. Big solid work here. So we've got some very straightforward, hard runners, but Blue is continuously getting the ball back, doing some real good work, getting their hands on the ball. And it appears that they would get the penalty out of this. So again, probably someone leaving. And it looks like this time we'll have a, a new kicker. And does find touch. And so the U.S. gets up to the 10-meter line on their end, and we'll see if we can get some go for it out of their lineout. So the call is made, and the lineouts are set. So far, USA has been a bit on the back foot, doing a lot of tackling, which is, uh, of course, heavy from an energy perspective. We'll see if we can get them going forward. Nice throw and a clean line out that time. Really well done. Big looping pass out to the 10 who swings it. And now we're going to see if the U.S. can put somebody in space. Ball uh, appears to have been knocked, unfortunately. So we see the, the, the blue attempt to go into space. They had uh, Volona out in the, in the width, but unfortunately the pass did not come through cleanly. Looked for, uh, looked like possibly went straight down or backward uh, here at the here at the booth, but uh, the referee on the field, of course, has a better vantage point and called it knocked forward. And so our second scrum of the day, again, we'll go uh, we'll go toward the Welsh, and we'll see what kind of uh, push Blue can get on this one. So the United States gets ready, some conversation to be had, and the platform begins to get set. Okay, looks like the second rows are in and the call is being made. Pretty good push again by the blue. Here it comes. Uh, and they got the penalty for it. Well done. Good, strong work by the blue pack. Got a good push and shove on. And, uh, and so because of that, they, they're going to take the ball. It looks like Chaudhry is going to line up for the kick. And the ball finds touch. And here we go. Now, we'll see if Blue can get some momentum going on this line out. We've got still a 5-0 score. comes the ball, but unfortunately again goes red. So here we go, comes out to the eight who tries to make some forward meters and does, and then gets a nice offload and drops the ball. But there we go again with the blue with uh, the strip by the United States, that's Padilla this time. And it appears to me like it's gonna go again. So we've got some diving over by, uh, by red, 
Uh, good smart play by the by the U.S. Padilla in this case, and uh, and so gets the diving over call, and it looks like this time we're going to run some pods. So Shire lines up for the ball, and here we go. Ball comes out to the seven. So that's A.J. Howie who makes a line break, uh, looking for some space. We'll see if Blue can keep the ball and get the recycle. It looks so good so far, and here it comes out to the width. This is Woods. Woods drives on. Big hard run. Ball comes out a little choppy, and it looks like it's going to be thrown forward. So red throws forward. The ball is going to go to Blue. We'll see the first attacking scrum by the United States. So they're just uh, shy of the 10 meter line here, and Again, they've uh, played quite a bit of time here in the in the middle. We'll see if we can get some, but it looks like moments there, moments of, of break and brilliance. Uh, Blue appears like they can get going through the line and make something happen. If they can complete one or two more passes, they could be real dangerous. So we'll see. We'll see what the, uh, the play looks like. We've got Eisenhardt at first receiver with Padilla next to her, and the platform is getting ready. And here's the call. Referee says we're in. The ball is fed in. Again, good solid backs. Eight picks and brings it out to Shire. Goes to Padilla. Here comes a little choppy. Eisenhardt fields. Brings it back to Valona. Ball is in hand, and now it's coming out into the width. So we'll see what can happen. Can we get another recycle? There's a great step over by Padilla. She clears and seals the ball. Out comes Howie. And here's the drive over. The ruck is formed. Shire has the ball and takes decides to take it herself. Little effort, hands it off to Eisenhardt, who brings it back out. Ball is uh, handled backward, and so we play on. So we've got, uh, this time, Welsh. Uh, the Welsh took it, got their hands on it. Number three, that's Katie Carr driving on. Good seal this time. And nine brings it out. So here comes the 12, the captain, Devera, who brings it out into the width. And now the tackle is made. That's uh, Hattie Greenwood who makes the tackle. And we get the knock. So there's a knock on in the tackle. And so it's going to go uh, to the United States. So Blue will get a chance to put the ball in again. So... The Welsh are running real strong and hard around the base. They got some big, strong runners, but so far, with the exception of the one line break in the width, uh, the United States has uh, been able to handle them. No official time clock on the field that we can see, so a little bit difficult to know how much is still left in the half. Uh, but we have five nothing, and the scrum goes to the United States. Again, once again, we've got Eisenhardt at first receiver with the wing appearing behind her and Padilla on her left. Uh, we're going to reset the scrum it looks like because referee not satisfied with the stability of the platform and so she's going to say hey let's go ahead and just uh, for safety's sake let's do it again. And so here's the set. That's many at the hook for the United States. And the call is on its way. Here's the bind and the set. Again, solid flat backs from the United States. They look pretty strong here. Eight picks and brings it out to Shire. Shire to Padilla. Padilla tries for the line break, makes an attempt, gets good go forward, and now the ball comes back out. That's number eight with the ball in hand, Amelia Clark, who then brings it out into the width, and here comes Valona. Now, this kid has some speed. Uh, I've seen her play in the past, and she has a very, very strong set of wheels. Gains some meters, and now a little show and go by the United States, and then the push off to uh, Twilova. And it looks like some hard rucking by the Welsh, but Shire able to regather. Go ahead and oh, a little rough in the pass there, unfortunately, and the dive over by Welsh. So we lose possession uh, and the ball goes red. And now the ball comes out and into the right side of the field. There's the tackle by Shire, who then resets and gets out of the way. So here comes the kick, it appears, into space. Looks like Chowdhury's going to field, and guys, Eisenhardt on her width. A little show, and now the pass. Here comes Eisenhardt with a little sidestep, and then we get through, and back to Chowdhury. 
Nice little sequence between these two. And here comes Many. Now we've got some movement. Woods with a big clear out. Ball is available. Shire looks to go again. Here comes Padilla, who tries for the flip. Here we go. This is 14. Hattie Greenwood, who gets some nice meters, is able to keep the ball in. Padilla able to solve it. Shire takes a big hit by the clean out player. Uh, and the referee says that is a penalty. Came around the side, not through the channel. And so uh, that was a question. And it looks like we're going to have the time come off because of the strong hit. Looks like Shire going to need a minute just to double check and make sure all the bits and pieces are doing OK. Referee signals for a water break, says, hey, now's as good a time as any. Let's go ahead and take our break. And we'll go from there. And so it appears like some conversation happening with the referee uh, and the Welsh number seven. That's Lucy Isaac. Right now, the United States looking, uh, looking like they've got the movement forward. Hopefully, the momentum continues to go forward and Shire's OK. It looks to have the ankle being looked at by the U.S. trainer and physio. And we'll see what, uh, what the decision is here. Physio now moving up toward the knee. So we've got that left lower extremity being evaluated. And uh, with any luck, Shire is going to be feeling back on her feet quickly here and, and rejoin the team. She's having a real good game so far. So what have we seen so far? Well, we've seen the Welsh uh, seeming to have a very controlled plan of attack. You know, moving forward, constant uh, battling and trying to get some meters. Uh, looks like Shire's day may be done. Unfortunately, she's got a pretty good hobble coming off the field there. And, uh, and it looks like we're going to have a little more evaluation done. So unfortunate turn of events for the United States. We'll see who checks in uh, to take over. Looks like number 22 checking in. So that would be Salome Schmidt, a Queens College player. And that appears to be so far the only sub. And looks like Chowdhury going to line up for the kick. Puts it into the attempt into the corner. Um, gained a few meters. And now we're inside the 22. So this may be the first time that the United States is inside the 22 attacking with ball. So we'll see what they can do and um, what they can turn out here. And here comes the line out. And Siemeni is going to get her hands on the ball and attempt another throw in. There it is, first jumper, and it appears like that could be Woods. Woods drives on, the ball is out and available. Many picks it up, and we have a not rolling call on red, and so referee says, you gotta get out of there. You know, you make your tackle, then you gotta get out of the space. And so uh, it appears this time, like we're gonna go with a quick tap and go. Uh, Salome Schmidt says, I'm gonna kick instead. Unfortunately, finds the end goal and bounces out. And so now a uh, scrum goes to red. So that works out to be a scrum at the point of the kick because it was put into the touch and goal. So an unfortunate turn of events for the United States, but we'll see if they can go back and get the platform. They've had a really good push so far. So they, I would think they feel confident here, possibly steal one again from the head. Uh, that's happened already once and possibly could get the penalty like they did the, the, the le last time. And so Reardon with ball in hand. And here comes the final call. Crouch bind set. The ball is placed. Big push again by Blue. Ball's available. And it comes out. Reardon swings it to the cap. The tackle is made by Padilla. Okay. Referee says ball is not available, still in the ruck, but this time, a oh, good clean out right there at the end. Good attempt to get hand, ball in hand. And again, this time they've got it. So that appears to be Hartrick, who grabs the ball and recycles, and now comes out from Schmidt, who swings it into space. And here comes London. London gains a few meters. The ruck is on, Padilla seals. The ball comes out again. Now we're going into the space. Here comes Walker. Walker attempts to Volono. Brings it back to Walker in the corner. We've got some meters. Now, can they seal their own ball? This is a dangerous position if we can get the ball moving. Ball comes out. Here it goes. Big, hard charge forward. 
and almost in. That appears to be Clark. Ball comes out a little choppy, but we've got the hands on it. Here comes the ruck, and the ball is available. Very close. The try is scored. The call is made. The arm is up. The United States are on the board. And so now we'll see if the United States can get the two points to take the lead. We've got a 5-5 five to five game. And, uh, and we see the United States can get a little go forward and we can get some movement here. And so out comes the tee and the water. Or not quite. Now comes the tee and the water. It appears to be Eisenhart lining up for the kick on the far end of the posts. And her teammate, Cecilia Aulis, runs the tee out. Good exchange between those two. Both U.S. Military Academy cadets going into their second year. So Eisenhart lines up for the kick. And it looks like we've got some stretching going on on the Welsh side. So the heat is a factor. Uh, we are in July, even though we're in Canada, it's warm. Okay, and here comes the lined up. Eisenhart lines up for the kick. This would put the United States up by two if we can make the conversion. Here comes the strike. The strike is up, and it's good. The flags are up, and the United States is had the first lead of the day on the boot of Alyssa Eisenhart. Puts them at a 7-5 to five advantage, something that uh, she has done quite well in her time as a rugby player. So kudos to Alyssa, kudos to the United States taking the 7-5 seven, seven lead. And so, first time of the day, they're in the lead, and we'll see what they can do receiving the ball. And here comes the Welsh, who line up for the kick. And the ball is up. That would be number 11 taking the kick. Metcalf, the try score. Ball bounces, but it's held up. And that would, appears to be Schmidt, who then brings the ball across. Now we've got some speed. This is Many. She's got some space and got some runners coming with her. Padilla looks to be on her side, calling for it. Here comes the ruck. The clean out is there. And now we've got some go forward. Really good take. Here comes uh, Hartrick with a big hard run. And what do we got? Oh, penalty to Wales, not releasing. And it appears like that could be the 12. Uh, Jenna Devera, the captain who is down. Time is now off. Uh, we've got a bit of an injury assessment to happen here. And so both teams will reconvene and the physios will make a determination. Hard to see from the booth here, but it appears that the hand, the left hand of Jenna Devera, the captain, the number 12 for Wales, is what's being assessed. So possibly a hand or a wrist. Uh, certainly in that breakdown, there's all sorts of pressure across the hands. And so we'll take a moment. Okay, and so we're back. Looks like everybody is back on action, and thankfully it looks like Devera is okay. Penalty to Wales, and it appears the kick is being lined up, attempting for touch, and we'll see what we got here. Again, looks like a nice high boot. Gains somewhere around 10 to 15 meters and puts them almost exactly on the 10 meter line. And so Wales will line themselves up again, attempt the, uh, the line-out ball. The conversation happens between Williams and Carr, or Williams and Carr, yeah, and ball comes in. Okay, satisfied with the throw, ball comes across. Nine brings it out to 10, who brings it back out to uh, 12 there, Devera. So Devera able to handle the ball. It looked a little choppy on the, on the sore paw there, but she seemed to be okay. And now comes the ball into the width. So Wales looks like they, uh, they've uh, possibly lining up to test the width, but the ball is stolen and brought back by the United States. And so here comes uh, Howie, who is having a solid game running the ball, gaining meters. 
And out comes the ball again. Here's Chowdhury. Looks to be bringing into the width. That would be Woods on the dive over. The ball is available. Chowdhury again. And unfortunately, the tackle is made into touch. That's Greenwood who is put into touch. And so uh, not much gained. Wales drops back a few meters and resets for the line out again. And so looks like uh, we're going to add another jumper in there to match full line out. And oh, it appears it went to the United States that time. So Woods with the ball sets it back. Ball comes out. Here's Hartrick, who takes a big hard run and gains some meters. Good solid rucking and sealing by the United States. This is Schmidt. Schmidt gets hit hard. Eisenhart picks up the ball. And here comes Padilla to seal it off. It's a fight. It was red out of there. They are uh, real fast recycle. And into the width we go. Once again, it's Walker with some pace. Tackle appeared to be high. The arm is out. Referee says that will be a penalty advantage. And now the ball comes out again. So we're still playing advantage, it appears. Ball comes out. Good take by Howie with some pace. And no advantage gained. We go back to the high tackle penalty, and we'll see what the United States elects to do. And so it appears the United States is going to go with the boot of Howie or uh, of Chowdhury, who puts the ball right about at the five meter. And we'll see what the United States can do here. Now, in certain situations like this, you might expect a mall. We'll see if the United States has it put in. And here comes the line out. Line out is up, cleanly fielded, appears to be by London. The ball is formed and it looks like the drive is on. Here we go, we've got some meters. The ball is continuing to travel forward. The ball looks dangerous. Big hard push by the United States. The Welsh are trying to put it in and stop it. What do we have? Referee says it was into touch. The side judge says the ball traveled into touch and now it will be a line out to red. And so this will be a chance for the United States to attempt the stop. And we might expect the Welsh to try to put one on the foot and clear some space. It's a good clean line out. It looks like they're gonna get some drive on and see if we can get the ball moving. Appears to be stood up and now the ball's available. Nice box kick by the scrum half. Volono attempts to make the catch. Unfortunately, a little bit jittery and it bounces forward, which means it's a knock on. And so the scrum goes to Wales. Okay, and so the platform resets. And we'll see if the United States can once again get the leverage on the Welsh. So far, Wales has been formidable in the scrum, but the United States has the advantage, it seems, and looks like we're going to reset it. And so the scrum forms again. At around the 30 meter mark or so. So here's the call.
So the blue scrum. So the blue scrum comes up with some success again. And this time is able to get the penalty, which we assume means that uh, the referee is not satisfied with the team from Wales holding their bind. Here's the kick, Chowdhury finds touch. And so the United States will form the line out again. Not quite as dangerous as the last time the line out went their way. This time they're inside the 22. So some more space to play with here. A little bit of a USA chant forming in the audience here. Referee says, referee says not straight. So the throw not straight to the United States, which means that Wells has the choice to go ahead and start that lineup themselves. And so the ball comes out, stolen by the United States, and we've got some space. So here comes Clark. Clark to Padilla. Padilla takes a run, double team tackled. Wales appeared to have a hand on, but could not keep it. Ball out to Eisenhart. Eisenhart swings it to Walker. Walker out to Chowdhury. Got a little space to run. Looking for the offload, not available. The set is on. Big hard ruck, but the ball is fielded. Salome gets the hands on the ball. Uh, this time it appears to be the penalty arm is out, possibly for offsides. Walker brings the ball out to Many. Many. Okay, big drive. Big drive by Twalava. And here comes Schmidt. Schmidt brings it out uh, to Nikki Lynch. Nikki Lynch drives on. Now we've got some width. So it appears that the United States is going to swing from side to side. Here comes Lennox London. Ball out to Sir Seriana Vololnova with the try. Scored in the closing minutes of the first half. Appears to put the ball down. And the United States takes a bit of an advancement in their lead. So that now makes it 12 to 5 for the blue. Out comes the tee again for Eisenhardt to line up a kick. A little bit further this time, but the celebration is real here in the stands. So this kick appears to be somewhere around the far 15 meter, so the back of the line out. So reachable for Eisenhart, but not an easy kick by any stretch. Gonna have to make sure she gets a piece of this one. And she's got the ball on the tee and studying her line. And here comes the kick. So Eisenhart lines up from around the 15 meter line, collects herself and the strike is on. Big hard strike. And it's good, a big solid kick for Eisenhart. Gets her second of the day, two for two. Well done, now putting the score at 14 to five. That's a big kick for the United States because we have to think the half is coming to a close. They're gonna get the ball back and we'll see what happens here. How much time is left? We'll see what kind of a drive they can get. And it appears like it's going to be a knock, but the whistle is not blown. Says advantage. Play the advantage. So this is dangerous territory. Well, says I'm going to try to answer back here. And big hard drive. Clean out is made. Ball comes out into the width. So we've got some numbers out into the width. That's trouble, but a nice scrape by the defense. And some good hard rucking by the United States. Ball appears available. The crash ball comes in on the near strong side. So Wales is out in that width. I think they're hoping to continue to pound those meters. Here comes Devera. That ball is coming back for thrown possibly forward. Yeah, there's the call. It looked like uh, Devera was a little aggressive in the past. Ball flo floated forward a bit. And so now the scrum will go to the United States. And so this is a position where 
You might expect some safety clearance here. We'll see what happens. They look to be inside the 22. Possibly a good time to check with the referee if we are inside the 22 in her interpretation, because of course uh, the ball may travel back, go directly out and then change things. So we'll see. Looks to me like the mark is inside the 22 from where I'm sitting and Schmidt gets ready to place the ball. The United States again looking real strong in the scrum and so uh, we would expect them to hold their position and the ball to come out fairly cleanly here. And here it comes and it appears like Clark is going to bring it out. Clark brings it out to Schmidt. They decide to run it out and here comes Walker. It looks like it's a little bit disorganized there but they are going to go ahead and win it back and here comes the hard charging run and this time looked like uh, number eight again that's Clark some hard rucking by Wales in a dangerous spot turns the ball over and here comes the captain Devera who hands it off again this is the number eight the seal is on, hands are on, but not able to. Oh, referee says, yes, you had the ball long enough. Says not releasing is the call. And so now possibly some clearance. Looks like Chowdhury going to line up to take the kick. And finds touch easily on this one. So the ball comes out, a little less dangerous position here for the United States as they set up the lineup. And the line out gets ready to proceed. So you might figure if we can clear this one and get some, some good uh, hands in possession that we might take it into some space or possibly again find touch. But it looks like it's gonna go to the red. Here comes the line speed. Here's the tackle. Big hard run and the tackle is made. Another hard charging run. This time the fend is on. Big run by number four. Ball recycles, that's Piers. And now we're gonna test the width. Yeah, there's Devera with a tackle by Walker. Nicely done. And so they're pounding away, only a few meters to go. And it looks like the ball is gonna stay red. We'll see if the United States can bend but not break here. They've got some go forward and it looks like their heels are on their line, so they're gonna have to really battle here. Here's some hard drive. And this time it looks like the blue has their hands on the ball and possibly took it out. Here it comes. An attempt at a kick. Will we have the chase? Big chase. Good hop goes to blue. Gonna be a little bit tough to field there. Padilla down there to make the play. Looks like a possible knock on. Gonna go United States way. So they get out of some danger there. Some very real danger. Able to turn it around, get out of the danger and bring the ball back up to their 10 meter. Or just on their side of the 10 meter. And so now the scrum will form because the knock on. And we'll see what will happen here. So again, Eisenhart remains in the first receiver, Padilla next to her. It looks like the weak side wing uh, is in. So possible uh, option there in, uh, in Siriana Wallono. Apologies, Siriana. Here comes the put. Ball is placed, eight swings it out. Here's Schmidt, Schmidt brings it out directly to Padilla. Oh, tricky pass, a little bit of a choppy kick. Uh, and here we go. So Walker attempts to make the, the drop. Here is a hard run by the 14 and some good rucking. So Welsh says, we're not done yet. And here's the drive, big hard tackle by Walker. Ball continues to go forward. It looks like possible hands on and the ball is available. It looks like it's gonna go blue. So this time the ball comes out. And this time the pass is made. Padilla drives on and the ruck is on. Good solid work. And the ball is conceded. A little bit of a late charge there. Dicey play and we've got some choppy play. So 15, which would be Adkins Fields brings it back. Good solid slashing run, still making movement. Big hard tackle, oh, and the strip. This time Lynch comes up with the ball. 
Ball swung wide into the width, and we'll see if the speedster can do it again. She's out there by herself, not a whole lot of support, so trouble if she doesn't. It looks like the seal is made, and the ball comes back out. Well done by the support there to get there in time to seal the ball. This time, however, the ball is lost, and we've got a hard collision, which took both players back a step. The ball goes forward. Wales continues to, try to, to churn on. That's the 13, but it looks like possibly lost it forward. So that was Ellie Tromans, who took a nice ball in, but uh, looks like it's going to come back for the knock on. And referee looks at her watch. It looks like that's the first half. So we're going to end the first half with a 14 to 5 lead by the United States uh, on a couple of strong tries and strong kicks and uh, some real good work by both squads. So we'll see what happens in the second half. But for now, we'll pause the break and wish the uh, United States well as they reconvene and take it from there. Welcome back, sports fans, to the second half of the United States versus Wales U-20s women's matchup, 15s matchup. The teams have switched sides, and it appears that the United States uh, will be kicking. And so no notable subs uh, that we can tell so far. Looks like both teams are about the same in their lineups. Uh, again, there was an injury substitution in the number nine uh, for the United States. Sadie Shire, who came off. Looks like Eisenhart will line up for the kick. The kick is up. It's good drive. Taken strongly. Bolono there makes a good tackle. And here comes Wales with a solid seal. Commit lots of bodies to seal that. And the ball appears available. Here it comes. Looks like some clearance. The ball is up. It looks like Chowdhury going to field and brings it back. Find some space. Little seam to run. Has the corner potentially. A little bit isolated, but here comes Walker with some support. Looking for it. Going to make it. Gets into the try zone and dots it down. The United States comes out swinging in the second half, and it's Chowdhury doing the work on her own. Fields the kick, drives through the open seam, and finds the space that she needed. And so, that is a good, solid start. If you're the United States, that's everything you want in a start in the second half. To put five on the board and bring the score to 19-5 to five, with only a few minutes gone. Maybe a minute off the opening kickoff. And so here comes Eisenhart with tee in hand. Alice brings the tee out. Line up for the kick. This one not quite as wide as the last kick, but still plenty of width. And so here we go. Inside the 15 meter. And here comes the set. And with her typical motion, takes a breath, gathers herself. Here's the approach. Kick is up. And it's good for another two. So that makes three for three on the day for Eisenhardt and brings the score now to 21 to five. That's got to feel pretty comfortable for the United States. And we've got a crowd forming here on July 4th. A little bit of hype work being done by the U23 squads and captains. Got to love to see that. What, what great energy we're seeing here by the United States team. And so Wells will now bring the ball back. And the United States will take another crack with ball in hand. There's the conversation, and the ball comes up. Offload to number four, and another offload to Padilla. Padilla starts to make the run. The tackle is not able to be made. Padilla going to make her way in. Big hard charge by the 15, but not in time. And so the United States now comes out and opens the second half. The game has been blown open at this point, and the U.S. has to feel real good about those first two minutes of play. And so once again... The tee comes out and Alyssa Eisenhart lines up. We've got some hype forming in the stands. So this is some good stuff in the second half.
So the kick lines up. We're now going to be at 26 to 5. Again, around the 15 meter, this time from the left side of the sticks. Crowd quiets. Eisenhart takes a breath, gathers herself. The approach, the kick looks to be in line. Through the sticks for another. So we've got four for four in the form of kicking, and we've now got 28 to five, United States. And so the United States now has to feel real good about where we're at. The ball is going to come back to them in hand. We've got only about four minutes off the clock in the second half. And it's going to be Metcalf, it appears, who's going to line up for another kick. This time the ball is up. It's a nice kick, good height. Padilla Fields looks like it's going to bounce forward. Unfortunately, the arm comes out, the knock on is on. And so now Wales gets the ball and will attempt their first second half scrum. And so now things settle a bit, but not before some points are scored and the scoreboard now reads 28 to five. It looks like a possible substitution in the front row for Wales, a little hard to make out, but that could be Molly Wakely in at the hook position. Big drive by Blue. The binds are held, but it collapses, and there's the penalty again. United States is looking very firm in their scrummaging. They are looking very formidable, and I think they're feeling real good right now. Some confidence there. Looks like we've got some subs getting ready to enter the game for Wales. We've got number 22, uh, Cian Jones, and number 25, Carries Hughes, who looks like they're getting ready to enter the game. Here's the boot. And the boot finds touch. We've got some substitutions. Okay, so 22 and 25 enter the game. And looks like the number nine, Molly Reardon, and the number 10, Chelsea Williams, are going to make their way to the bench. So well played by them, some good minutes by them. And so some changes in the back line for Wales. Here's, here's the throw. Says not straight. So in this, and this time we've got some substitutions. So United States gonna bring in Jordan Duncan. Wearing the 19 jersey. And that would be Hartrick making her way toward the bench. So really good work by her today. Now that, now the line out forms and it looks like, yeah, 16, Molly Wakely is throwing in. So uh, that would be a sub for Rosie Carr. Big long throw, looks to the back and the catch is made, the drive is on and the rucking is much more clean for Wales this time. So possibly some conversation at halftime for the Welsh team. We talked about cleaning out those rucks a bit better, sealing things a bit more cleanly. Big drive by Wakely, and the ball comes out again. Here's the recycle off the foot. In this case, stolen. United States with the ball in hand. There goes Schmidt. Schmidt looks to be possibly held up. Whale's going to try to hold her up, but she makes her way to the ground, and so the release should be on. Here comes the ball. Ball comes across the field, swings it out. Padilla looks for some space, finds a little. Big hard rucking. So Wakely comes in and makes a definite difference in the in the physicality at the breakdown. Schmidt with ball in hand. Possible question there. Uh, the fans looking for a call, but the referee says play on. Here comes the boot, hand on. Oh, good gather there by Siameni, and it looks like Volono. 
and Eisenhart fighting. Little choppy down there. Here's the kick by the box kick by Schmidt. A couple of bounces. And now the ball comes out into the width. And so there is the captain. Devera taking it in, some hard running, some meters, ball comes out again. Here's 14, Singleton, who breaks and looks to make her way through. Getting a little bit of fight and a little flack. Ball is offloaded. Into the corner goes Adkins. So Wales fights hard and gets back on the board. Puts the ball down in the corner for a try. And so, got a little go forward there, got things moving. And going to be a hard angle on the kick. Referee says it's around the five meter, so about five meters off the sideline. And so this is going to be a tricky kick for Metcalf, who had a nice strike at the ball last time, was just a little off center on the posts. And so we'll see if uh, the lefty can reach from this corner. Definitely not an easy kick. And here's the strike. Uh, a little off center again, and so the kick is not good. And so the United States makes their way back to the center. And will attempt the kick. And so Eisenhart lines up for the kick. And looks like they're going to even out the line here. Checks with the referee. Ball comes up. There's the kick. Wobbly makes it 10 and bounces out. So referee line judge says yes, uh, 10. It's going to go to Wales just past the 10. So a short kick. And... Wakely will take the ball and start for the lineup. Lineout is in, disrupted a bit there. And question very close to touch, but did not find touch. Touch judge right on the side, able to make the call, said she was fine. Ball came back out. Here's Wales around the base again. Good hard rucking and a possible steal. There's the United States picking up the ball again. London brings it out to Duncan. Duncan brings it to Many. Many drives on. Here's the ruck. The ruck is solid. And so, so far, looks like a possible bobble there and a knock on and so a knock forward. And so it's gonna go Wales's way in the scrum. And so the United States will set up their platform again. So, so far, two areas of strength, uh, it seems, two areas of advantage, one of which is the scrum for the United States. Been very strong all day. It also seems that in the, in the chaos, when the ball's in the open and the ball is sort of chaotic, it looks like the United States has the advantage there. So we'll see where things go from here. Referee calls. Oh, we're gonna reset. It looks like we're not quite ready there. The, the Welsh prop, number three hat, uh, number three car signals that she was not bound and so would uh, prefer to keep things on the right side of safety and go again. And so the platform begins again. Big hard push again. The blue tries to get the turn, but this time the ball comes out. A little bit of a two on one here. Nice take by the scrum half. A little bit of an offload. Oh, but into touch. Unfortunate, the flag is up. That would be Siriana Vuolono. Makes a big hit, drives her into touch, and the United States will regather the ball. Looks like some substitutions being made. So number 23 enters the game. That is Julia Murray from Brown. 
And it looks like that would be P Tiana Padilla coming off. And it also looks like number 17, Akila Kathy from Brown. So the two Brown students join the game. Here's the line out throw, long but gathered, well played. And so here comes the ball. Tricky little boot, here we go, into some space. Eisenhart puts the ball into some space. Gonna test the winger, gets a nice bounce out of it. Looks like Siameni is down there to cause a little bit of a containment. Shifty play by the winger, but this time not going anywhere. Big tackle made by 18. Now a hard charging run by the eight. That's Gwen Ann Hopkins, tough runner. Ball comes out, a little sidestep, a little shake and move there. And we've got a couple of tacklers there. Hard rucking and the ball is available. Ball is picked and the fend is on. A Little bit of an offload, nice behind offload, a little tricky there. Uh, the question is, was there a tackle? Referee says no tackle, so didn't have to release. Ball comes out again. Attempting to make these simple offloads in, get into the width and create the mismatch. This is a hard runner, this is Wakely. She seems to gain some meters. Hard rucking by Red, lots of numbers committed. And here's the line speed. Gets a little bit of the go forward, breaks the gain line by a meter or two. Ball comes back out and now we're into the width. Got a little bit of a decoy run there. 12 brings the ball out and we're gonna see what can happen. This is the try score of 15. A little bit of a choppy pass and it looks like the United States is there. So they're, they're working. Uh, we've got the knock on. Referee says knocked forward by the Welsh and so the ball will go to the United States. So some, some good movement there and some good sequences by Wales, but, uh, but un, unable to convert. So the United States will get the ball back and the scrum will reform. So, front rows are back in. And so, the ball is placed. Schmidt, go ahead and brings the ball. Good hard push by Blue. Ball comes out. It's Chowdhury this time with a big boot. Gets some real solid meters there. Fielded cleanly this time and looks to be brought back to the far end of the field. So pretty classic work there by Wales, tries to get the corner, cannot get the corner. Nice attempt at the offload, and the Jackal is on. Well played, but driven into touch. So that's Walker with a real nice play on the Jackal attempt, wins the ball, but is driven into touch. Some more substitutions enter the game for Wales. That would be 19, Robin Davies, and 23, Molly Anderson Thomas. And so it looks like uh, the captain will trade the armband, so to speak. Jenna Devera comes off, as does the number five, Aaron Jones. So some fresh legs on for Wales. Line out goes their way, and we'll see what happens from here. A little bit choppy. It looks like uh, regathered there by Wales. Ball does come out. Nice boot into the crossfield kick attempt. It's fielded cleanly by the winger. That's Greenwood, who does a nice job to gather and buy some time for her support to get there and seal the ball. So a nice attempt on the crossfield kick. A little bit of a choppy play there, unfortunately. The ruck is on, says knocked on. So referee says you attempted at the ball, that's okay, but you knocked it on, and so now it's gonna go to blue. So the United States continuing to chip away at the time and protect their 28 to 10 lead. And they regather for the scrum. Our clock here in the booth says 28, or 23, 15 left to play. So, the field clock, of course, is the official clock. Never quite can tell how much is left on, but uh, we've got 23 and change. And here comes Schmidt, getting ready to put the ball in again. Blue gets ready to put their push on. And it does not appear they lost anything with the substitutes. Big hook pass 
Possibility, a little bobble there in the line. This could be trouble. It's regathered. Tackle is made by Mer, almost made. Driving run, well done by, and it appears the try is awarded. What a drive. And so Wales gets on the board again. Trying to even things up from that hot start by the United States. And this appears to be a much more makeable kick. Not under the posts, but inside the 15 meter. And the tee comes out. It looks like we have a new kicker going to strike the ball. That's number 22. That's Sean Jones. She lines up. So the kicking duties switched over. And this time we've got a right footed kicker. Lines up for the strike. Uh, looks to be hooked a bit and unfortunately not unable to convert. And the referee signals time for a water break. And so the water break is over and the United States starts up again, getting ready to kick the ball. It looks like Salome Schmidt's gonna line up for the drop kick, restart. And the ball is up, fielded cleanly. That's the 13 who delivers an offload, gets some hard drive forward, Ruck is on. Ball is clean, the ball comes out. Attempted to go into the width. And there's the tackle. Tackle made, the clean out made. Now we've got some running at the base. Hard charge, good tackle. Ball comes out again, this time it's Wakely. Good attempt at the jackal, ball in hand. Appears that the, ta the jackal is made and the ball goes to the United States. Solid work, ball comes out. That's London out to many who flicks it out, uh, but it appears like possibly traveled forward. Referee says yes, ball was thrown forward. And so the scrum will reform and it will go to Wales.
So we've got an injury assessment working. Looks to be an ankle, possibly some cramping. It is warm. And the physio taking care of one of the Welsh players. Tricky to make out who, but we wish her the best and hope she's able to re-enter the game quickly. That appears to be the number 14, Saren Singleton, who is able to get up and re-enter the game. And so now the scrum platform resets. So the free kick goes to Wales, who takes a quick tap, and the ball swings out. Unfortunately mishandled, and Walker has the ball. Looks like the knock-on advantage is going to be played. Schmidt looks to recycle. Brings it out to London. London drives on. Possible obstruction there, but we're going to see what happens. So referee says the obstruction penalty goes to Wales. And so right there at the mark, they're going to take the ball. Ball comes out, goes to the far end of the field where the number eight swings it out into the width. Brings it back into the offload. Again, an unfortunate mishandle. Looks like it's going to be a knock-on that comes to the United States. And so the scrum will reset. Referee calls for it, and the players make their way. Looks like we've got a new player entering the game. Wearing the 21 jersey, that would be Cassidy Dugdale for the United States. And it looks like Sia Many, the hook from Dartmouth, will come off the field. Great work by Hurd, solid effort all day long. And so Schmidt will set. Call is made. Referee says, not satisfied with the bind. Let's go ahead and start it again. A little bit of instruction and a reset. So the free kick comes out, this time goes out to the United States. Looked like Chowdhury thought about putting it on her foot, decided to cut back. She's into some traffic, ball comes back out. Looks like Schmidt gonna try to recycle it. This time the ball comes out, a little show and go. Looks like it possibly lost forward. Wales regathers, the arm is not out, and so referee says play on. And now the ball swings into the width. This time it is, looked like the try score, Metcalf there, hard to see. Ball is cleanly held by the Welsh. There's 23, going to bring it out to the, makes a hard drive. Here's number two, Rosie Carr, driving the legs. Walker able to bring her down. Good line speed by the United States. The ball looks like it's coughed up. That's a possible knock-on. Arm is out, knock-on is called, and the kill is made. Looks like we've got another substitution. That appears to be number 20, who is listed as Amelia Gibson. However, the crowd says that's Jordan Duncan. So our, it looks like our numbers are a little off here. Uh, Jordan Duncan appears to be wearing number 20. And it looks like that could be Howie that came off, Emma Howie. I uh, note that was uh, Nikki Lynch who came off. Another solid effort. Looks like another injury assessment. The physios are out attending a Welsh player. And some conversation with the referee. So the time comes off. And and if we're even close, there's probably about 13 to 15 left to play. Can't be sure, unfortunately, because the uh, time is kept on the field. 
and no clock as far as we can tell. 28-15, the score remains. Water makes its way out. Uh, certainly important on a July, sticky July night for everybody to rehydrate and regroup. So Wales in some dangerous territory here. Uh, they've got uh, United States pinned inside their 22, but uh, it appears like the United States is gonna try to get another kill here. Possibly another hard effort by the pack. Some other subs that have entered the game. It appears that uh, Cecilia Aulis is now listed playing the number two spot there, the hook. And so uh, the front row is not completely changed out, but, uh, but certainly some changes. And so here is Salome Schmidt. Get ready to put the ball back in. The set is called. Big hard drive again. Good hard effort. Picked up by the eight in the channel. Ball comes out a little bit choppy, bobbled. Referee says backward. But this time uh, held by the Welsh. Unfortunately, that looks like it uh, unfortunately knocked again. So a bit of a knock there uh, again. And so the ball will return to the US and re-scrummage this time on the other side of the field. And so the scrum reforms. So referee says, let's reform it again. Try again. So as these things sometimes go late in the day, things are a little choppy. We've got some substitutions in, possibly a continuity question mark there. But for safety's sake, reform, reset, and do it again. And so the scrum is broken up. It appears like there's a knock on and it's gonna go again. So getting into a bit of a groove, players uh, in the back lines get a chance to catch their breath, but uh, unfortunately the pack is getting their reps in here with multiple scrum. Scrum resets, and Schmidt looks to put the ball in. Set is on, big hard drive, and big jump there by Red. Referee says it's okay. Ball swings wide. Uh, good line speed by the Welsh. Dangerous territory. Going to have to bring this ball out and clear it. Not an easy play at all. Eisenhart puts it on the left foot this time. Gains a few meters. Big hard play by the charging winger. And there is a good solid effort and some tackling. Looks like all oh, the hands were on it, but the clean out was successful. And so now we'll see if the Welsh can drive on. They're in some very dangerous territory. Deep within the 20 meter, not quite to the five meter, maybe seven, 10 meters out. Big hard drive and some recycle, a little choppy ball. Seven swings the ball into the width. A nice idea on a little bit of a grubber kick into the corner. Fielded nicely by 14. That's Greenwood. It's a dangerous place to be. And so referee says it was brought in. And so we will bring it out for a five meter scrum. Substitutions coming on. And we've got 17 entering the game. That would be Chloe Thomas Bradley and a player without a number. So unfortunately to that player, we will not be able to announce you appropriately, but our best wishes to you. And so a tough five meter scrum here. So this is something that the United States has uh, had a strength all day. We'll see if they can do it again. Um, 
if they can bring it out cleanly and then possibly get into some safety here. Wales is going to get the put. So this is, of course, in their mind, the one opportunity they need and have needed uh, to let their scrum shine. And so we'll see if they've got what it takes to, to pull it off this time. It's going to have to be a big hard push because you can be sure that the American scrum is amped and ready to go forward hard. There's the set and the drive is on. The legs are churning. It looks like it's going to the United States. Possible turn, but it comes out to Wales. Wales brings it out into the space. Got some decoy runners, a hard run by the 15, a nice offload, a driving run, but not quite there. A couple of meters out, good hard run, and it is in under the posts. So Wales is able to get the try and will set up the straight on conversion kick. And so it appears that Metcalf will take the kick. She'll take the duties back. And this time right in front of the stick. So she's probably feeling like she's ready for one. She's had her opportunities, unfortunately not able to convert, but this time should feel pretty good with a straight on kick. So back to the lefty, and we'll see if the lefty can convert it this time. Here's the strike. And it's up and good. And this time able to convert. And so we've got 28 to 22. So with about seven minutes to play on our clock, which could be a little bit more or less, we've got a real game now. We'll see if the finishers can get it done. And so the United States comes out, and it looks like it's going to be Eisenhart to take this kick. And we'll see what kind of work we can get done here. 28-22, this is a dangerous territory for the United States. And the chant by the United States fans begins again. The boot is up, and it's fielded cleanly. Good hard pressure by the 11. And there's Lennox London trying to get her hands on it. Box kick is up into, oh, out straight. It looks like it's directly out, which means that it will come back to the place it was kicked. And so the United States will get a line out uh, in some pretty good territory just beyond the 10 meter line, uh, win the ball back. So we'll see if they can generate some attack here. This would be a good time to do it as the momentum seems to be slowly shifting back to the Welsh. And of course, that signals danger with somewhere around 6.30 to play. Looks like Aulis is going to get ready to put the throw in. The replacement hooker. And the jumpers are ready. Up goes Duncan with a clean field. Ball comes out to Schmidt, who lofts one out, swings it out. Eisenhart, Eisenhart to looks like Carly, Akila Carly. Big hard run. But there is the tackling, the formidable tackling by the Welsh. Ball comes back out, and it's out to 20. And here goes 11 with a big drive, and now out into the width. Possible high tackle there. Looked like it was a little high, but no call made. There's the roll, and a good hard charge. Gaining some meters. That appears to be one of the Wood sisters. The ball is coming out. Schmidt attempts. Now the referee says it's available. Don't mess around, she says. Here's Akila Carly again. Uh, excuse me, Akila Kathy. Out to Lennox London, to Eisenhart. Swings it out into the width. Big hard run by number 19. We know is not Jordan Dun uh, Duncan. And Schmidt brings it out again. Here's Howie to churn on. Gain some meters, a little bit choppy at the base. And here comes Kathy again, good hard running. Almost held up, but finds ground, and so the release is uh, called for. 
Some late charging counter rucking. Chowdhury tries to put one on her foot. Possible cross field kick. It's a nice bounce and it's gonna roll into touch. And so it will go to Wales, but not before uh, some position and uh, some meters gained. So a smart play there. And we'll see what happens here. So the line out begins to form. Our clock says around three and a half to play. And it looks like Wales will line up for the line out. The call is made, conversation is had, the numbers are checked, and the line out forms. Ball comes in, nicely taken, and it appears like the mall is on. It's met with good strength by the United States. Doesn't appear to be moving forward much, maybe a little. Referee has not warned. And the mall continues on. So the United States will have to commit some more bodies to stop this momentum, because now the momentum gains. Here comes the ball. Rough, unfortunately rough service and hits uh, the player bouncing forward and a knock on here around the 20 meter. Substitutions are being called. And it looks like a player from Wales is gonna enter the game. That looks to be number 21. So Finley Jones gets ready to enter the game. And with two in change to play, it looks like the number eight comes off. That's Gwen Ann Hopkins. Good, strong effort by her today. And so the scrum resets. The call is made, platform is set, and here comes the drive. Looks to be picked. And out to Schmidt, to Eisenhardt. Flicks wide to Murray. Murray into the corner. Looks like Greenwood. Gets a little bit of motion forward. It's questionable there at the breakdown. Looks possible diving over. Back to Eisenhardt. Eisenhardt swings it. Looks like it could be thrown forward there. Referee says, yep, play the knock advantage. And now Wales tries to move it into the width. Nice idea with the foot. Gonna be a tricky play because it's gonna come straight out. So directly out off the foot there. And so it's gonna return to the spot. The original knock on advantage was being played, which means Wales will get the ball in the scrum. Referee looks at her watch, which makes us think that we're down to the final minutes here with a 28 to 20 score line. 28 to 22 score line. So we'll see what kind of movement, what kind of power the United States can generate. The drive is on, a little bit of a turn there, not quite 90, the ball is available and here it comes. So, flicked wide. Fend is on, tackle is made. Hard to see who made that tackle in the width. But the ball is turned over. United States, little backhanded flick there. Nicely done by Howie. Our watcher in the booth says the time has expired. Here goes Kathy with a high tackle and has the advantage. Doesn't stop her. She continues to churn. Look at the strength. And the ball comes out. Not sure if the advantage is still being played. Here goes Alice with a hard charge. Regather starts again. Ball is available. Questionable there. Referee says, let's go back to the penalty. So we're gonna go back to the high tackle. And it looks like the United States elects a scrum. And 
So this could be one of the final scrums of the day. We'll see how long it goes. So the scrum lines up and it's Schmidt who looks to put the ball in. Is made and there's the set good hard push the pick is on not cleanly taken but Eisenhart able to swing it and find Chowdhury unfortunately that looks to be thrown forward and so Wales will get another shot at this referee looks at her watch again which says that we're getting into a very close time this could be the last play so one more time one more scrum So here is the scrum. Ah, looks like they said early drive. This time drove not straight, drove straight up. And here's the quick tap and go. So Wales gonna try to take advantage of the momentum, try to put a final touchdown, final try on the board. This is uh, getting dangerous now as we get close to time expiring. The United States looking to seal the ball, looking to pick it up. Referee says ball is available and it looks like the United States has stolen the ball. And so now, the ball comes out. Hard drive there, and the jackal attempt is made. Not sure if hands are on. It looks like the hands are on. Wales gets the ball. Not releasing, says the referee. And so, looks like Wales is going to attempt to go into the corner. And possibly attempt the end here with a final try good solid boot into the corner it goes but probably not as far as she would have liked just inside the 20 meter 22. and so the final line out alice joins wakely gets ready for the throw the crowd getting into it again High stakes, cleanly fielded, the ball is on. Good hard drive, let's see what kind of leg strength each team has left. This is hard going. Ball is out, comes out, looks to go into the width. There's the decoy runners, and now we've got it going into the width. It's speed on speed in the corner. What will happen? A big tackle, the offload, a drive into the corner, but the US there. Can Wales finish this? Can they finish it? They the hand the signal looks like a try is scored. And so we now have 28 to 27 in the final seconds with a very hard kick in the corner for the win. This is a tense battle. Some physio work happening in the corner. And it appears like Wales are going to go ahead with 25 to take the strike. That's Carries Hughes. This is a difficult kick at best. Hard to tell from our angle, but appears to be somewhere in line with five meters off the sideline. One of the trickier angles in this business. We'll see what kind of leg strength she can generate. 28 to 27 in a tense game. Have to think this is the final moment of the game. Kicker aligns, the music softens, and here's the strike. It's a good strike, 
but it looks to be a little short. And so that is the final whistle. And with a score of 28 to 27, it is the United States U.S. 20s to get the win in an incredible battle by both sides. Lay it all out there for 80 full minutes of effort here in Ottawa, Canada to set up another great game for both teams for the rest of the week. The United States will move on to play Canada on the 8th at 12 p.m. and Wales will get a break and then play Canada back here at Elm, Twin Elms Park. Thanks very much. We're signing off. This is the EGRL.